Hey y'all, welcome to Rich Aesthetic. I'm Rich and let's talk about how to maximize the usefulness of the Apple Watch Ultra's action button. The way Apple showed off the Ultra button was for it to do specific actions easily that you could do by tapping on the screen but using the button would be obviously easier if you're scuba diving or you know wearing gloves while you're going hiking or even climbing whatever it is that you may be doing and it'll allow you to advance through the UI to perform select different functions and you can actually set that up in the Apple Watch app which you see here to my left or my right but then in that same category there are a lot of things you can actually have the action button do so one of course is starting the workouts and then advancing through the workout ui to see different parts of the screen but you can also have it do select things like turning on the flashlight starting timers or even a stopwatch and then most importantly for this video you can have the action button run a shortcut now, here's the thing, by using it in the way that Apple has advertised, it can really only do the one thing you set it to. You're not able to customize what it does based off of the focus mode, which is fine because the functionality is super powerful. Um, in the workout app that I use called Liftin, put a link for my review of that app up above, you can advance through the UI by completing sets and marking them as done, and then skipping a rest timer if you choose to do so, and then advancing to the next exercise once you've, say, finished your bench press and you're ready to go do like a rack pull or bend over row or whatever, it'll go into the view for that next exercise for you to then continue marking off sets as completed. Now, that's awesome, but I'm really only in the gym for an hour to two a day, which including the time that I'm at work and at home leaves for what, like 14 hours of the day where I really don't have a use for that action button anymore. So with this shortcut that I designed, you're able to actually customize what it is that the action button does based off of the focus mode that you're in. But it does come with the one caveat that you would no longer be able to advance through UIs such as in the Lift-In workout app or in Apple's own workout app and etc. for use cases like that. However, if you're interested in how to make the action button that useful, continue watching the video and let's take a look at this shortcut and exactly how I do this. All right, so we're in the shortcuts app now. You can see that up here next to me on the screen. And let's just, so I just wanna go through the flow of the shortcut. It's actually super simple to set up. It's got a very um, like logic based flow. So the first thing you're gonna need is for it to get your current focus. Now, if you wanted to do this based off of time instead of focus, like if you don't use focus modes, you could add a date and time um, action up there and then throw in the if action and base what it is that you're checking based on time instead. But let's focus on what I've got here. So yeah, no pun intended. We're getting the current focus and then we're checking for the name of what that focus is. So if the name of it is fitness, then the action is just to open the Lifton app. This allows me to have different complications on the main face of my fitness watch face so that I'm not putting in the Lifton apps compilations Complications, compilations, completions. Oh my God, I forgot what they're called. Whatever, let's call them a widget for now. So that gives me more real estate to put other, um, other widgets on the watch face. Oh, I can't believe I not. I think it is a complication. Something, something about that sounds complicated and wrong. Anyways, the next one we're checking for is if we're in personal. Now here is that menu that I was talking about. So I, it's gonna ask me if I'm going for a walk or if I'm cycling, because I'm usually doing one of those two when I'm in the personal focus mode. So then if you choose walk, of course, it will start an outdoor walk. And if it's cycle, it'll do, well, it'll start an outdoor cycle. So yeah, that's that. Then the next thing we're checking is if the name is work, and this is important because I'm a teacher, so oftentimes I'll have them do, you know, whether it's a two, three, or four minute activity, and I just want to keep my time in class because we do have very short classes of them only being 38 minutes. 
So I do that to then set a timer for the duration, which it actually asks me for. So then I can quickly tap in, okay, it's like a two minute activity, throw that in. And then I can go monitor, knowing I'll get that time update, and I can always extend it or um, just cancel it earlier if I need to. Um, and then the last one, I have it check if I'm in my creating focus. And the reason for that is it'll then set this scene of filming, turning on the lights and the, the, nano, light, the nano leaf light strip there in the background. And then it'll also just show me an alert when that's done because for whatever reason, HomeKit Actions and the Shortcuts app, they don't play very well, especially on Mac OS. Um, it's a little bit better on the phone, but you know, with Watch OS, it's also just, there's something jittery about that. So I get that notification because that notification should only show once the previous action has been completed. So if it's hanging, I'll never get that notification and I'll know what's wrong and I can you know, turn it on manually or whatever I need to do. Now I only have it set for those four focus modes. I have more than just four, but I haven't found any other use cases. So let's show how that runs. I'll... All right, so we're in the creating focus. I'm not gonna run that just because I'm not sure the HomeKit action will run well and it'll mess up all the lights and whatnot. So let me change the focus mode that I'm in. All right, so we're in my personal focus mode. You can see that because the focus mode icon is at the top of my Apple Watch screen, as well as my watch face has changed. Now, when I press the action button, you can see it does recognize it's running that shortcut. Shortcuts app open, and here I am presented with the menu. So we're gonna go for a cycle workout, and there it goes. The cycle workout is starting. I do this often because I'm usually in my personal focus when I'm out and I'm either walking somewhere or going to well, cycle somewhere. So rather than having to raise my watch and then hope that Siri is able to understand what it is that I want, it's easier for me to just do it manually. But this is faster than actually manually hitting the crown, finding the workout app and doing it that way or using one of those complications to actually be able to run the workout. So this is just a lot faster in my opinion. So let's end that. That will not report to the health app. So no, I'm not cheating on my move goal. All right, so now we're gonna go into my work focus and I'll just show that one. So here we are in work. And again, you can see the focus icon. Well, I guess we can't see the focus icon at the top, but you can see it at the top of this screen. And you can see that my watch face has changed again, had that professional look, if you know what I mean. Let's hit the shortcut button. Boom. For how long? So I can quickly do a little, say, three minute activity. Hit start. And that will be running in the background. Now there's no way to see it unless you do have the timer application. Complication, wow. Complication on your watch face, which I do in the bottom right hand corner. You can see the timer is running. You could also, of course, go into the timer app and see it running there, where I can then either pause, continue, or straight up just cancel the timer. So super simple having quick access to that rather than looking for it each time or having to tap the timer complication. This way I can actually tap the action button while, say, I'm finishing up saying the last part of the instructions or doing some ICQs, and then already have the menu waiting for me to input the time once I've finished that sentence or gotten the feedback that I need. So super helpful. All right, I'm gonna turn off the mirroring. And that's that. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below if you use the action button or have any cool nifty shortcuts running from the action button or even just what it is that you use the action button for. Rumors are that the iPhone 15 is going to have an action button as well replacing the ringer mute switch. So I'm super pumped for that because if we can get something besides the ringer being controlled, that would be so cool. Plus I would rather use Siri to control the ringer anyways. So it'll just totally change the way I use my iPhone in regards to setting the ringer sound and then also being able to run a designated shortcut from a button, that would be sweet. All right. Thanks again for watching. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon so you can see when I post a new video as I don't post too often. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. Rich Aesthetic, out.